just average of a 1.60. And action is underway. Buck is right at the blue line. A couple bodies, a couple tires blown right off the bat. And it's chipped down deep into the Trojan end. Right out in front off the goaltender stick, back behind the net still. The Trojans come away to the point. Zimmerman tries to keep it in, and he does not. He does not, and offside is called. Right now we have the most Super Sunday appearances by West Seneca East with eight. And they've also had the most consecutive uh, Super Sunday losses with uh, two. So they've, they've been in here quite a few times. They've also had the most Super Sunday losses at four. So they're looking to turn that around here today. Yeah, when they're watching, they like the first comment. I'm not so sure about the second. In any event, it's in the uh, Trojan end. Let's see if they can get something going. A reverse pass now. It goes over for Machieski. Tries to get it out of the zone one more time. It's kept in a backhand deep into the zone by Miller. Finally back around the Trojan end. A chance now to break it out from the defense. Miller steps up at the blue line. Battles right there with Militello. Machieski's in there as well. Finally, Boyd gets a handle and sends it back to the red line where the Quakers dump it in deep. Back behind the Trojanette, Militello on the left side. One more pass. Let's see if they can do something here. Cross ice right up the middle of the ice. A three on two break if they hurry. Nowak with the pass, an errant one. It gets intercepted, and coming back the other way is the Quakers. DeJames gets it around. He has it at the red line. His pass for Meister at the blue line. Gains it, takes a shot. Blocker saved by the goaltender, Sitarski, and into the corner it goes. Trojans have it behind their own net. Knock it out to Simmons. Simmons, it goes off his stick, but out of the zone. And Kilijanski decides to go the opposite way, and the Trojans make a line change. Orchard Park in their own end. All the way back to the Trojan blue line. It's Hart for the West Seneca East team. Goes back to the Orchard Park blue line, and could be a two-on-one. The drop pass not there for Nicole. And coming back the other way, Biddle count. He'll just dump it in deep. Where Brennan will play it. He'll send it around the opposite way. There's a pass there out of the zone by Ziegler and picked up by Militella for the Trojans. He waits for a player to get on side, takes a shot that Brennan has no problem gloving. Brennan hangs on to the puck as the shot comes in. He's looking around to give it to somebody. And referee Chuck Siever talking to Ryan Brennan, a record 15 4 and 4, goals against. 1.6, save percentage of 0 0.920. So very respectable stats there for Ryan Brown. And Chuck Sieber, of course, involved in the first game as an assistant coach with Lancaster. Now he's uh, officiating a full day here for Chuck. It's going to go down the ice, be another icing call. We've played... Uh, Let's see, about two minutes and 40 seconds into this game, and uh, no and a score. Couple, couple of icings, couple of offsides. Both teams trying to feel each other up. There's a pitcher right there of referee Chuck Siever, who we mentioned earlier was assistant coach for Lancaster, and now one of the head referees, along with Glenn Eichinger. And could be another icing call, going for the early record. Right now, again, neither team wanting to take any chances. They're just going to try and get the puck out of the zone if they're not happy with what happens on the faceoff. You're going to see a couple icing calls until they feel each other out. And that's exactly what's going on as faceoff comes off to the right-hand side of Ryan Brennan. And off the draw, it's into the circle. Richard Park knocks it out of the zone. It's picked up there by Blocko. Backhanded into the Quake Brennan back in the neutral zone. And on the offside, Faulkner was inside the line and it hit him and uh, an offside call. So whistles are plentiful. Whistles, whistles are plentiful here. The, uh, the Orchard Park team finished second place in the South Towns and West Seneca East finished first this year. And again, you're going to have uh, the West Seneca East Trojans traveling uh, at the end of March. They'll be uh, going on for the States. 
see how well they do. Traveling in a horse, did you say, Rich? <laughs> they'll be, <laughs> they'll be uh, traveling down states to Newburgh, uh, New York, to compete in the uh, state tournament uh, by virtue of their first place finish in the South Towns. And uh, here's a shocker, another whistle. Uh, this last minute, uh, six whistles in the last minute alone inside the Orchard Park end. Right on, Brendan will scoop it with the glove, and he wants a whistle. Well, again, uh, whistles are plentiful here as uh, Ryan Brennan, again, not taking any chances. He's going he's gonna to feel the puck and probably want to get it as much as possible right now before he starts dishing it off to his defense partners here. Uh, again, very, very important face-offs here at the beginning of the game. Face-off will be to Brennan's right off the draw. Kept in by Militello at the line. He'll send it around deep behind the Orchard Park net. Battle for it there. Coming away is Dimitrov. Gets intercepted. Machieski takes it to the backhand. Can't send it out in front, however. And a big hit there as Borzik uh, battles. Goes all the way out to the red line. And over the stick of Militello. And off his glove. Right out in front. Oh! And missing a golden opportunity there. Wow. Orchard Park the, had several opportunities that last time and couldn't bury it there. In any event, they go back to the offense. Doring tries to backhand it out of the zone, and he does. It goes down the ice, and guess what, Rich? Icing call. Another icing call, and again, talk about West Seneca East winning their division here in first place. They will be traveling, like we said, at the end of the month. They will have to leave on a Thursday to participate, which means they will be missing two days of school, and because of it, the school principal, we are told, will be giving them a detention for missing school. So all the players, not just one or any of them, but they'll be giving them all a detention. In which case, I hope when they come back after winning the championships, they don't let the principal be any part of their celebration. Well, the principal said he wants to go on the trip, though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, puck goes all the way down the ice. And uh, guess what, Rich? We're going for another, <laughs> another ice. ice thing. There's more icing here than a bakery. Yes, there are. So we've got, uh, we've got again, we're going to talk each team uh, feeling each other out. But Mark, kind of a sad situation, though, for a team that's, you know, doing something for their school and, and done them very proudly so far by winning first place and having to go on to the states. Uh, I mean, I think the principal and the school would be behind this group of kids 100% because, again, they are trying to do them proud wherever they go on. That's why they should have had the Trojan horse. Nobody would have known they had left. <laughs> Goes back. The Trojans send it out to the red line. Bakers have it. They dump it back in deep. Big hit right there near the red line. Sikarski comes out and decides to play it. Nickel takes a hit in the corner. Goes back now. Simmons sends it off. A breakout pass. And off the stick of Kieran Jansky. But there to pinch up on the play. Good defensive play by Sloma. Coming back the other way. And unable to get through for the Trojans was number four for them. That, of course, is Pat Furlong. Puck is in the corner. Both teams battle for possession. Finally, it's sent around the opposite way by DeJames. Now it's picked up by Meister. Meister off the boards right to Hart for the Trojans. Hart sends it up, picks it up one more time. Oh, and Hart runs into a player, Nickel. And here comes DeJames, makes a nice move, cuts to the open side of the ice and tries to take it to the backhand, but Perez able there to stop him as Perez clears the zone. Back to the red line, backhanded right back in. And another big collision as Blocko tried to glove it down, and he ran into uh, one of the Orchard Park players, Scoville, right out in front now. Faulkner has it. Goes back behind the net. Goes out front, just goes! Just right there! Big hit by keeping it in, and now he's got himself a goal. Glenn Stolmo makes a great play to begin with. The defender for West Seneca East tries to glove the puck, and Stolmo oh, runs him right over. And then you have Stolmo camped out in front of the net as the play comes right to the front of the net, and Stolmo buries the puck. That's the goaltender, Jason Zatarski. And here comes the play. Tries to dump it around behind, and we have a play that's right out in front to Stolmo and able to just to bury it right between the legs of Jason Satarski. So John Stovall, one goal, five or six, six points. That's his first goal of the year, and it's a big goal right now for Orchard Parks 
as they start them out in a 1-0 lead in the first period. 